Henry, what are you doing? Waiting for milk to appear in my bowl of cereal. Why? Because I can't eat Cheerios without milk. That would be ridiculous. Can't you just get up and get the milk? That would require me to get up and walk to the refrigerator. You're really that lazy. Yes. You know, no matter how long you stare at your cereal, milk is never going to magically appear in it. Well, not magically, but it could happen. It really can't, is the thing. I'm telling you, if I wait long enough, milk will appear in my bowl of cereal. No, it won't, Henry. You're a science guy. You should know this. Milk doesn't just magically appear in cereal. It would violate all the fundamental laws of our universe. Well, Richard, according to our modern understanding of physics, there is actually a chance that all of the milk sitting in the refrigerator right now could spontaneously quantum tunnel into my bowl. What? I said, according to our modern understanding of physics, there is actually... No, 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 I heard what you said. Just elaborate. Well, see, if I take this ball Wait, and I throw it against the wall, it will always come back to me, right? Well, yeah. But that's where you're wrong, Richard. Now. According to our modern understanding of physics, if I throw this ball against the wall enough times, there is a small chance that one of these times it will go through the wall. This can be explained by the Heisenberg uncertainty principle. The ball in my hand right now that you see is not occupying a fixed location. Instead, think of its location rather as a probability cloud. There's a high chance that it's in my hand at the moment, but there's a small chance that it isn't, and that when I throw it against the wall, it will simply pass right through. So what you're saying is if I throw that ball at that wall, the ball might go through the wall instead of bouncing off? That was my ball, Richard. Just get it later. Now answer my question. Well... What you said was mostly true, however, it isn't magic, it's science. Huh. Wait, what exactly does this have to do with milk magically appearing in your cereal? Well, we're not sure whether or not the milk is actually occupying the space in the carton or not. There's a small chance, or probability rather, that the milk is actually sitting in this bowl and if I wait long enough, it will materialize by itself. So exactly how small is this small probability of yours? Well, the milk in the carton is a pretty big object, so there's a pretty small chance that it's anywhere except in its carton. I'd say the odds would be... Well, let's put it this way. If I sat here from now until the end of the known universe, which uh, current scientific theories are estimating is about um, 100 million, million years from now, in which the universe will expand to such a point that there will be no usable energy left and the entire universe will suffer from heat death, it is still statistically unlikely that milk could possibly tunnel its way out of a refrigerator. In fact, <laughs> the chances that milk has spontaneously appeared anywhere from the beginning of the universe in the Big Bang to the end of the universe is still unimaginably small. Then why are you still staring at your Cheerios? Didn't I just explain it to you? What was it you said? Something like, 
Even if I sat here until the end of time, milk won't magically disappear in, 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 into my cereal bowl. It's basically impossible. It's, but it's not impossible, just unlikely. But you said it yourself. The odds are pretty much zero. Well, they're not exactly zero. It's like, it's like winning the lottery. That's a terrible example. People still win the lottery every single day. But no one has ever had milk magically disappear from its carton and conveniently appear in their breakfast but cereal. it could happen, Richard. I'm telling you, if I wait long enough, milk will appear in this bowl of cereal. No, it won't, Henry! I'm not a science guy, but even I know that the goddamn milk in the fridge won't ever be anywhere except for in the goddamn milk carton. Unless you get it from your chair and you get it your goddamn self! I can wait, Richard. I'm a patient man. The odds exist, so it's merely a simple gambling game. It's me against the universe on whether or not I get to enjoy my breakfast before class. If I lose, all I miss out on is a bowl of Cheerios. I have to go hungry for the first few hours before lunch, no big deal. But if I win, I can essentially tell the entire universe to suck it. What are you doing? I don't want to look at you. Ah. Carry on then. See, Richard, I told you, milk would eventually appear in my bowl of cereal. I hate you.